Hi everybody, it's time for story time again. This morning I had such fun um, being with my class on Google Meets online. We got to say hi to each other and we got to even celebrate my friend Alice's birthday. It was her birthday last month, but her birthday party got canceled because she because we all had to stay at home and so we didn't get to have a birthday at school and she didn't get to have her birthday party either so we got to celebrate it on our google meets um today so i was thinking about this book that i have called happy birthday cupcake now if you're in my class or if you've watched um videos from my channel you might know that we love the story peanut butter and cupcake and in that story peanut butter is persistent do you know what it means to be persistent to be persistent, that means you keep trying and keep trying and keep trying at something, even when it doesn't work the first time, the way you expected. And Peanut Butter was looking and looking and looking for a friend and all these friends were saying no, they didn't wanna play with him until he found his just right friend. So I'm not gonna tell you who that just right, just right friend was because you have to go back to my other video and watch that. But one of the characters in Peanut Butter and Cupcake was Cupcake and it looks like in this story, written by Tor Terry Border, he also made the illustrations, um, Cupcake's having a birthday. So let's see how she celebrates her birthday. And I love Terry Border's stories because there's great words, but there's also such great illustrations. I love these books because sometimes my kindergarten friends tell me, I can't read, which is just absolutely not true because everybody is reading in some way. Some people are reading letters. Some people are reading whole words. Some people are reading whole sentences. Happy birthday, Cupcake. And some people are reading pictures and telling the story. And this is a perfect, perfect example of reading the pictures. Because if we did not pay attention to the pictures, we would miss a lot of the story. So read the pictures with me and listen with me. Happy birthday, Cupcake by Terry Border. Oh, there's some characters on that title page, do you see? I think that's Muffin. All right, let's read the dedication. I always like to see why the author chose to read or write the story the way they did and who did they write it for. <sighs> this book is dedicated to all the makers of delicious cupcakes and muffins too. Mm, yum. Today's my birthday, Cupcake said and I want to share it with friends. But what kind of a party should I have? There's Cupcake. And looks like a chocolate bar, chocolate donut, maybe? Maple bar? I love the characters in these stories because they're food. They're photos of food, and then they have wire for arms and legs. She called Muffin over to make a plan and they took a long walk. I know, Cupcake said, I'll have a beach party. We'll make sprinkle castles and play in the sun. Check out who they're walking past as they're having their walk. There's Cupcake, there's Muffin, there's jelly and peanut butter. Oh, and chocolate donut. I think maybe that's kind of like their dog, do you think? Okay, let's see about the beach party. That might work, said Muffin, but the beach is so hot and some of us might get drippy. Cupcake touched her frosting. Muffin was right. Ooh, who would get dri drippy at a beach if it was hot? Ice cream for sure, donut, chocolate, yeah, for sure. I know, Cupcake said, I could get a big boat. Who wouldn't come to a floating party? This boat says root beer float. And there's pear, pretzel, cupcake, jelly, peanut butter, lemon, muffin, banana, and apple. There's even a picture of a carrot. Hmm. Be a picture reader right now and study the picture and see what you notice. Hmm, there's lots of details to notice, definitely. Look, 
There's a fishing pole with a fish. Have you ever had those gummy Swedish fish? They're so good. All right, let's see. Okay, well, oh, that might work, Muffin said. But if the, but if the ship rocks, Soup might lose his lunch. Oh no, if the ship went sideways. Oh no, what would happen to Soup? All the lunch would start pouring out and all the Soup alphabet letters would come out and look, they're even making words. This is where you can be a read worder with me. Oops. Seasick. And sorry. Hey, kindergarten friends in my class. Can I see something? Can I tell you something I noticed? We've been talking about compound words. You know that. That means two separate words, and when they're snapped together, they make a word all together. Check this out. C, sick. And when they put, are put together, it makes C sick. Ooh, there's a compound word. And check this out. If you were not a picture reader, you wouldn't even notice this mop. And on this mop, it's having to mop up the soup. That would not be a good make for a good party, would it? Yeah, good thing we're reading the pictures along with the words. Cupcake fidgeted with her wrapper. Muffin was right. She had to think of something else. I know, Cupcake said. I'll get everyone makeovers. It's so much fun getting frosted and sprinkled. Ooh, this looks like a fun party to me. Look. Cupcake's getting all decorated, and Cookie over here is getting frosting and sprinkles, and Muffin's getting some frosting and some gumdrops, and this Cookie's getting some sprinkles and frosting too. Can you give me a twinkle if you think this would be a good party? I think so. Might not be everybody's type of party though. Let's see. That might work, said Muffin, but I think um, some of your friends would find makeovers icky. Just think about hamburger. Cupcake felt like she was starting to crumble. Muffin was right again. Hamburger barely even liked himself with ketchup. Would this be the kind, right kind of party for her friend hamburger? I don't know about that. I don't know about hamburger with a bun with frosting and sprinkles on top. I know, Cupcake said, we could play musical chairs. I could find a band. Ooh, so here's the chairs. Have you ever played this game? When the music goes on, you all have to walk around the chairs and when it stops, you have to find a chair. So here's, here's beans, kidney beans. Here's baked beans. Here's black beans. And they've all got their different kinds of instruments. And it says the musical fruit on the sign. Musical chair party, hmm. That might work, said Muffin, but if someone sits down really fast, you'll be squished. Oh, check this out. If Potato sat down on the same chair as Cupcake did. Oh, yeah. Cupcake would get squished. Egg, here's egg over here. Egg might crack. Oh no. Oh, let's see. Cupcake didn't didn't know what to do. She was running out of ideas. Well, what about limbo? She said. What with prizes for all the winners? Here's takeout food. Here's waffle, corn, and a big straw for the limbo stick. That might work for waffle, huh? Let's see. Big prizes? Asked Muffin. Oh yes, that's that might work, but can you get low? When Cupcake has so much frosting on, can Cupcake get low? Oh no, I see some frosting coming off, oh no. That would be a disaster. As they reached Muffin's place, Cupcake sighed. Huh, I'm going to go stale before I think of a good idea. Ooh. Going to go stale. That's kind of a play on words because muffins and cupcakes in real life, when you leave them out on the counter for too long and you don't close them up or put them in the fridge or whatever you do to contain them, they go stale. They get dry. They don't taste so good. They taste a little funny. 
I might go stale before I think of, an I of a good idea. Let's just take a break in my garden, Muffin said. That might work, Cupcake agreed. Cupcake pushed open the gate and... I love things like this in books, these dot, dot, dot. That means something else is coming. Are you ready for it? And surprise! Cupcake's friends were all there. Oh, while she was trying to think of parties and ideas, all her friends were getting a party ready for her. That's a good kind of party. There's egg and lemon and peanut. And oh, they got their, I think that's a donut, maybe, dog. And potato and corn. We're all there. Oh my goodness. And while they were dancing, a few friends did get a little drippy. Cupcake didn't limbo too well and did get a little bit squished. Oh my God, there's a little drippy ice cream cone. And let's see, where's Cupcake? Oh, Cupcake did get a little squished because they gave her a fancy, fancy party hat. Mmm. Donut's a little drippy, but it looks like they're having fun. She got a little squished, but it was still the best birthday party that anyone could remember. That's the end. I wanted to read this for my friend Alice today because I felt really sad that we could not celebrate her birthday last month at school. So Alice, this is a special birthday book reading just for you, and I hope everybody else enjoys it too. I hope you're having a really good day at home. Even though today's not technically your birthday, I hope it's a fabulous day. And I hope everybody else enjoyed this story too. I'll see you next time.